in these problems, we are multiplying numbers by multiples of 100. So 8 times 400 in this case, or 5 times 200 in this case. Uh, the method I'm going to show you would also work for multiplying by multiples of 10 or multiples of 1,000 or even 10,000 or 100,000. But let's just try it with these two. There's two steps you're going to use. You're going to multiply the, the non-zero numbers first. So in this case, it's 8 times 4. Okay, so that's the first part of the problem, 8 times 4. So if you know that 8 times 4 equals 32, you're set. If you don't know, how can you figure that out? Well, I mean, you could grab a calculator, you could look it up on a table of multiplication facts, or you could remember that multiplication is just addition over and over again, and 8 times 4 means 8 added to itself four times. And let's see, how would I approach this? 8 plus 8, I know that's 16. If I didn't know that's 16, I could think about, okay, what do I need to bring this 8 to a 10? And that'd be 2 out of there, and that'd leave 6, and 10 plus 6 is 16. So both of these are 16. And then I have to do the problem 16 plus 16 equals 32. Uh, and that one, if I didn't know it, I could stack it up and, and add it like normal, carry the 1, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway... 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 32, so 8 times 4 is 32. Then, second step, all you have to do is just add these zeros onto the end. So you have your 32, and you get 32, 0, 0, or 3,200. So let's try that again. The first step, multiply the non-zero part. So 5 times 2, that equals 10. So I've got my 10, and then I've got to add those two zeros on the end of it. And so a thousand is your answer. So that's a little bit of work with multiplying numbers by some multiples of a hundred.